All right, we're very excited to have our next guest on the show. We have the chairman of the Circuit of the Americas right here in Austin, Bobby Epstein. Bobby, welcome back to Speed City. How are you? I'm great, John. Thanks. Well, we're two weeks out. I know we're excited. I can feel the buzz here in my part of Austin. How about you? Yeah, well, I think uh, I feel it all around, both in town and obviously at work every day. And we've got hundreds of people putting in a lot of long hours to pull this off and and get it all to come together. And and I think it's going to happen and it's going to happen better than ever. Speaking of that, how are ticket sales? I've been hearing good things. Yeah, ticket sales came on strong. It's been great. I think we'll be clearly sold out. There's probably, I think as of this morning, there was about 1,100 tickets left in the um, reserved and hospitality, everything combined. So that's, uh, for us, that's a really good thing. Good place to be two weeks out, and we're excited. I was telling my son, he's getting some tickets from me, and he was he was asking how to get there, and I said, you know what? Get on the shuttle buses. You know, last year, what was it, 600 shuttle buses? Are you planning similar this year? Yeah, I think we usually have, we'll probably have 500 some buses again this year. But I need some people to buy a lot of F. Everyone's talking about the shuttle being so great. We made it so good. We made it so good that I've got parking available. That we've got. So uh, we're going to be coming out with that this week. But no, it's actually about where it's supposed to be. But uh, I'm glad you had a you had a good experience on that. And people that put that together worked really hard to to make that work. And after 12 years of doing it, I think they've got it figured out. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. I think it's figured out. Well, good. I'm glad to ask. So there are some lot Fs I'm still available. So that's good news. But, Bobby, this year has been a fantastic year of racing in Formula One. And I'm, I'm sure the competitiveness has affected ticket sales, too. I'm sure that's part of why you guys are doing so great. Well, that's that's for sure. And, and you know, we, we never – we thought the audience paid attention and that our fans are, are – care about the sport and, and are, are passionate about it. And it really shows because when the competition heated up on the track, that's when we saw ticket sales really take off. And uh, so this year, as you said, you know, it's it's gotten incredibly competitive. It's exciting. And I think uh, we should have one of our best races ever. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt to have a, a couple of big name concerts with Eminem and Sting. That That's a pretty incredible li- uh, lineup. A, a little something for every generation. Our generation with Sting and the Youngers for uh, with Eminem. Well, thanks for putting me into that. I, I'm an Eminem fan. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, and, and on Sunday after the race, we added a group called Two Friends, which you're correct is probably not from our generation but it is making a huge buzz and you know, we try and put something on there for everybody afterwards and helps kind of calm traffic but it turns out that these guys are quite a hit so uh it's a it's a great lineup of music this year and clearly with eminem uh, we he's outsold taylor swift for for what we've uh, like ever seen before so that Saturday is going to be unbelievable. Wow, wow, that's a huge thing that outsell Taylor Swift. I'm not sure anybody's ever done that before, but yeah, yeah, no, it's, I think it's his first concert in the U.S. In, in many years, and we're we're lucky to have it. We're glad to have it. It says something about the event when you can get big artists like that to say, "Hey, this is special enough, and I appreciate the invitation. I want to be a part of it." And that's what happened here for us this year. The same way it happened with Taylor uh, in 2016. It's it's really unusual, but. Um, great for great for the fans that are coming and they get great value with their ticket. Well, is there anything else that you want to get out there about? You know, you talk about Lot F being available, obviously plenty of shuttle buses. Um, anything else you want to get out? I think we've added more entertainment this year just for the for the fans that don't know uh, what it's like and that it's that it is it's an it's a race and it's an event. Beyond that, there's a whole festival of thirty five plus hours. Um, there's more villages and more to see and more entertainment than ever. So uh, plan to spend more of the day than, than if you've never been, please come and plan, bring walking shoes and, and spend many hours just exploring because there's things to see by every turn. Well, and you said it earlier, you guys have got it figured out now. It's such a great experience and getting in and out is easy now and everything is just so well organized. It's, it's a well organized machine and it's, it's great. But uh, before I let you go, Bob, I just want to ask you, you guys have got lots of other things going on. You've got the uh, the roller coasters going in. You've got the T-11 condos. How's everything going? Yeah. Well, the roller coasters are, are going to be ready next summer. But there's uh, there's one of them that'll 
get everybody excited. I think when they see it, it's already it's ready, to, pretty ready to go. Um, and then the T eleven's done great, and now that it's come in and the the landscaping's going in this week, and uh, the sales have picked up there to where I think uh, we're about ready to start another phase. So uh, very exciting times for us, and we're grateful for all the support. Uh, and appreciate you having me on today. Yeah, Bobby, thank you very much, and we're super excited to be out there. And uh, we'll be on the PA and on the radio, and and uh, and we will see you out there soon. Sounds great. Thanks.